Alright, hey YouTube, I'm going to try to do a TTC update, but I've got a lot of distractions right now, so we'll see how well this goes. Um, so, it is cycle day 9, and I haven't started taking OPKs yet. I'm going Mama, to start... Mom. Sit. I'm going to start taking my OPKs tomorrow. These are the OPKs I have left over from last cycle, so I think I have plenty um, for this cycle before I need to buy some more. Mama. I am all out of pregnancy Mommy. tests, though, so I'm going to have to buy more pregnancy tests. Mama! Yes. What? And Jaden is sick, and he sounds awful. Um, he's all congested and sick, and he's eating two suckers at <laughs> once. This one was mine, but I put it down to start making the video, and then he grabbed it. Stop so now it. he has his and mine eating them both at the same time. What have you learned? So don't leave my suckers where you can get them. Sit down. Exactly. And it's in a desperate need of a haircut. But he's three years old now, so his birthday was on the 6th. So he is now officially three years old. Hi, man! What? Okay, sit. Sit down. Sit down with your suckers. I'm sorry. So, I got these off of Amazon. I got a pack of 40 ovulation test strips and then 10 pregnancy tests. But I went through all 10 of my pregnancy tests last cycle. And um, I think I had like 22 ovulation test strips left. Uh-uh. And they were like, like 9 or $10 for all of this. So it's, it was really cheap. cheap. Plus I got it for free shipping. So... That's what I'm using for my ovulation test strips, and for those of you who don't know, ovulation test strips, um... Test when you ovulate. Yes, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, detect your LH surge, which, um, you have right before you ovulate, so when you get a positive OPK, when the, um, test line is as dark or darker than the control line, it Daddy! means that you're going to ovulate in the next, like, 12 to 24 hours, so it gives you kind of, kind of a heads up, um, you're about to ovulate, which means, um... Uh, go baby dance if you're trying to see. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, and then I have this, uh, um, my basal thermometer to chart my BBT. Anyway, so here's my basal, basal temperature thermometer that I was using like back in August when we were trying to conceive the first time. Um, with the baby that we miscarried and I just found that I really hated every second of temping like I couldn't do it um, I'd wake up and I'd forget I would wake up and take Jane to go pee and then I'd forget and be like crap I didn't take my temperature and now I'm up and walking and moving and it's too late and um, I wake up different times during in the morning I never wake up um, around the same time just because it depends on my school schedule and it depends on when Jaden wakes up so and I wasn't gonna set an alarm to wake up extra early just to take my temperature so it didn't really go over very well so I'm trying it again I'm on like day four of temping and so far eh, so good kind of ish um, and I'm gonna try to stick with it this cycle not really because I really need it need to do it because um, I really rely heavily on my OPKs and my AVIQ but I thought it would be a nice change this cycle. So I'm just going to try it out and um, I'm mostly doing doing it to look at the post ovulation temperatures because I know they can clue you in on you know if you could possibly be pregnant or not so that's basically why I'm I'm doing this again. I got this at Walmart um, in like the pharmacy area and it was like eight bucks or something like that. So I got that. Also I got candy. Oh yes you got candy. I got Candy. Yeah. He oh, sounds so freeze. funny. He sounds so funny. And, um, <clears throat> um, I, in my last video I told you guys I was take, I was going to start taking Vitex to try to regulate my hormones, um, because I think I might have a little bit of a hormone imbalance. And I was going to start, start taking Vitex because I had, when I conceived in August, I was using Fertile Aid, but it was just too expensive and I didn't want to spend the money on it again. And I was just going to try and see if Vitex would do the same thing. And um, 
So, uh, Taina, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce your name, but her YouTube channel is T TC Baby Dreams or something like that. And she offered to send me a bottle, an unopened Daddy. bottle of both Fertile Aid and Fertile CM because she is going on a TTC break. Uh, for a weight loss surgery. So she offered to send me her two unused bottles and I was so so grateful for that. Don't, Jamin, stop. Don't touch. Can you get him please? I want to finish this. Yes. Go over to Jen. Go sit on Daddy's side. I have things that I want to do here. So I was so so happy when she offered to do that and uh, it just made my day. So I have them here. And I've been taking them. So here's the Fertile Aid for women, and this helps balance out your hormones. Fertile Aid so, for women. There's a men's version. Yeah. Fertile Aid for women. What, was and it porn? No, Thomas, stop! I'm trying to do this. I know, but it's so fun. To so here's smart. the Fertile Aid for women, and it is supposed to help you uh, regulate your hormones. That way, you have. Um, that way, you uh, ovulate on time and in, in a timely manner and so that your progesterone and estrogen levels are kind of where they need to be so it helps balance all that stuff out and uh, when I was using this I got pregnant the first time so I'm hoping that it helps again and it also has a prenatal vitamin in it so you don't need to take an additional pill you just take this and it's got the prenatal vitamin in it already and it also has Vitex in it and whatnot so I've been taking that and this is Fertile CM, which helps um, increase your your CM, your cervical cervical mucus. For those of you, you who don't know all the abbreviations, um, which you need a good amount of that when you're trying to conceive, so that the what? I'm never going down on you again, ever. <laughs> you need a good healthy amount of it when you're trying to conceive because that is um, what helps the sperm swim and get to where it needs to be so I've been taking both of those and I've already noticed a change like this stuff I've been taking it oh gosh um, for about nine days now ish so yeah I've been taking that super excited about that and I've been also been using my AVQ and I woke up two days ago to a crack in my screen which I could just cry about um, I need to contact uh, the AvaQ company and see what needs to be done for me to get my screen replaced. But if you can see, oh, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it on here. There's a crack right here. And here's my chart so far. So based on my oral readings, it's saying that my peak fertility day is going to be on the 13th, which is really surprising for me. I don't know if that's going to be right or not, because if so, um, that's going to be like one of the earliest, uh, earliest peak fertility days I've had because I usually don't ovulate until like around cycle day 16 and um, they're predicting cycle day 13 just based on my oral readings and I'll go and I'll show you my oral readings really fast So here are my oral readings. Um, I started on cycle day three because I forgot to take it on cycle day two, which isn't a big deal. So these are my oral readings all the way up through until cycle day nine, which is today. And I took my first vaginal reading yesterday, and I need to take my vaginal reading for today. And um, yeah, and one thing different about this. Um, my last period was it was a lot heavier than what I usually have and it also lasted it lasted for seven days and mine usually only lasts for five days so I don't know if that has to do with um, just having a miscarriage or what but it was definitely heavier and lasted two days longer so hopefully my body is com back to completely normal and Hopefully it's ready to conceive. So I'm super excited and I'm going to try to keep you updated on how I 
use my AviQ and how I use my OPKs this cycle and my um, my uh, temperatures. So we'll see how good that goes. I'm think I'm thinking about getting a fertility friend chart. I don't know if I'm going to just do the free version or pay for the paid VIP version or not. But I will let you guys know. But basically, I wanted to get on here and to let you know that my period had came has came and it's gone and it's cycle day nine and. Uh, yeah, I will start taking OPKs tomorrow. And we are also going to be going out and buying some pre-seed today, which if you guys don't know what that is, it is a sperm-friendly lubricant. So if you lube, use lube when you're baby dancing, um, that can be harmful to sperm, which does not help with your chances of conceiving at all. But pre-seed is proven to be completely sperm-friendly. So we are going to get some of that just because we like to use lube. So that is it. If you have any questions about what I'm doing to uh, chart and track, just ask and I'll let you know. And that's it. And if you guys have any extra baby dust, send it our way because we really could use some. And we're really keeping our fingers crossed, hoping that this is our month. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.